The water in the ground freezes, it expands and pushes on things, causing them to eventually break, releasing energy as noise. If it's a big enough break, it'll cause a noise and that would be the frost quake. I heard two frost quakes at my house in Bell Vernon when I arrived home at 4 p.m. and then a loud one that shook the house. If it's breaking in the ground, it's gonna release seismic energy. We'll pick that up on our seismograph and we'll be able to see that energy. Frost quakes you know, usually are not picked up on seismographs because they're, they're not generating a, a, a true seismic wave. They are very, very localized. So one house hears it, nobody else is gonna hear it. The metal on the train track will be shrinking right now. And so that can break and that can make a loud noise. Tree limbs could be falling. We haven't picked up any signal that would suggest frost quaking, so if it's happening, it's very minor, um, and it's a guess that it could be a frost quake. 